Hello and welcome to another episode of Awesome Action Toys Review. Today we're reviewing dun 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 the Acid Rain Jeeps by Ori Toy. Now the box says Green Jeep and Green Commander. Okay, so we'll be looking at these. So what's inside the box? Inside the box we have the Jeep in a plastic sleeve with a bit of artwork like the old school green army men used to buy as a kid. And inside the bag, there's bubble wrap with the Jeep, and somewhere inside, the man as well. The Soul Commander, too, which I can hear rattling around there. Okay, so, not much to look at in the box. There's no box with this, just the artwork, and the 2015 show exclusive on the back there. Now, how many of these are in existence? We don't know. No one knows. We're assuming maybe 800, maybe 1,000, we don't know but they're quite easy to pick up. Now it's worth noting that there's more and more variation of the green Jeep. Okay, now I'll show you my green Jeep that I've got unboxed here. Okay, so here is the green Jeep. Now the variations change in maybe what's printed across here. Some as the woman on the uh, bomb, or maybe say acid rain. But here it is. Um, please bear in mind this is just like a plastic army man Jeep. Playability, you can push it forwards, you can roll it backwards. And the windscreen part comes down and goes up. It's not like your normal acid rain of, with tons and tons of features, but it is nice. If you're very good with a screwdriver, you can actually take the steering wheel out from here and you can screw it into the other side. In the back, there's little notches and these pegs. Weapons can go in there, like the rifles and so forth from your... Soul Commanders or Bucks team, and there's a little slot here. This slot can be used with the pistol that comes with the Soul Commander. So if I put it in there, you can see it's a lovely fit there with the pistol. Okay, also we have a spare wheel which goes on and off, though it is a bit difficult to work out how it goes on when you first get it. Underneath there is a spot, let me just take the piston out, over here, where you can store the base for the Soul Command. And then the Green Army Men are only ones that came with bases to help stand them up. So this is quite a nice feature too. So this is the Green Jeep. It looks nice, but, you know, it's more for, uh, well this one's okay for playing, you know. It has, it's not painted just in the green. Uh, wheels roll really nicely, looks good, you can put your green men, which I'll review at another date, in there if you want. So what about the actual uh, pilot, Soul Commander? Well, it's just a green Soul Commander, the ones we're used to from the original Acid Rain series. Oh, let's see how it's falling off there, there we go. Okay. And here he is. That's what you get to go with your Jeep, a green man for the for the green Jeep. Okay, same articulation as the normal Acid Rain Soul Commanders. Uh, some people like to buy these and paint them into the style they want. Other people also like to buy the green Jeeps because they're still quite cheap and paint them. Now these were sold for 50 US dollars initially. Like I said, we don't know how many there are. Maybe 800, maybe a thousand, maybe 600. Don't know. But you still can get them quite fruity, and they range really from about 65 US to maybe 80, 90 US, maybe even 110 US, depending on which version you want a printed version or not. And I'm not after the green printed versions. Okay, so what other versions are there? There's the green versions, and if you're really lucky to live in Asia like I do, and you get to Hong Kong, as I did in 2000 and which year? 2000 and. 14, I believe, or 15, probably 2014 or 15, you could have gone to Toy Soul and you could have got the black version. Exactly the same, but in black. Same features, but painted. And you see, this one I've got is a signed one by Kit. This is hand painted by Kit Lau, the designer of the Acid Rain toys. Now, of this one, again, it was 50 US dollars, but this one is now worth about 400 US upwards. Why so expensive? Because there are only 60 of these. 
Now they are numbered, this one is 14. I don't know if it goes sequential from 0 or from 1 to 16. I'll explain why in a moment. So this is worth at least 400 USD because it's an original black Jeep from Toy Soul. Might be worth more because I've got Kit's autograph on the bottom. This is really nice. And next we come to the rarest of the rare of acid rain pieces. Now, when I say rarest of the rare, I'm talking about releases, whether it's limited release or exclusive. There are things that are rarer than this that aren't releases. They were just prototypes which Kit gave away as competition prizes. Rarest of the rare and the very sought after Rust Jeep. Like the black one and the green, but this time it's painted Rust, hand painted by Kit. And again, this one is signed by Kit on the bottom, and this one is number 24. How rare is this? Well, there are 20 of them. And this is why I say I'm not sure if the numbers are 0 to 60 for the, uh, sorry, 1 to 60 for the black one. It shouldn't be. If this is 24, and there are only 20 of these, then maybe it doesn't work that way. When I say 20, we believe it's 20, maybe 24, 25, 26, because some were given away to shops. Uh, for promotion, but actually being sold there's 20 of these. Now this is a really nice piece uh, again 50 USD and it was random what Jeep you got in the show, I was lucky to go with my girlfriend so I could buy more than one and I got a black and I got a rush Jeep uh, value of this now is at least 800 USD now again people don't buy this for the playability factor even though it's really good for posing, it's a good size, it's really good scale for the 118 they buy it if they're collectors like I am to try and get a complete collection. This is the Rusty. Really nice painting, uh, hand painted by Kit Lau again, as I said. And if you look, you can see the blue oxidization there from the rust as well in the corners. Really nice effect. Kit's done a masterful job in painting this. This is the very sought after, the very much wanted rust Jeep. And it's the one of the pride of one of the things that I pride myself about in my collection is this lovely, lovely uh, item here. Okay, so those are the Jeeps that are released by Acid Rain for the collectors. Not so much for the, uh, you know, like the movable joints and the other, but the features are still, still quite good. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more updates, more reviews, and more things to do with Acid Rain toys and other action figure lines as well in general. Okay, stay tuned, like, subscribe and share and I'll see you next time.